And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, yet another cold, clear morning, something we're very used to here in Greater Lafayette. This morning, single-digit temperatures. We're sitting at 6 degrees right now. Winds now picking up some speed. We're seeing winds from the east 10 miles per hour. That wind chill, negative 9, stepping out the door this morning. So all in all, a frigid start, to say the least. Here's our current temperatures throughout the viewing area. Fowler right around 7 degrees. We're at 9 in Crawfordsville, 7 in Rossville, 4 degrees in Kokomo. But once you take those winds, you add them to the equation, it feels a whole lot colder than that. So it's negative 9 with the wind chill at the Purdue University Airport. Here at the station, we're seeing right around negative 8. Seven below in, Co in Kokomo right now. Feels like two below, both in Fowler and Rensselaer stepping out the door this morning. Now, as a result of those very cool wind chills, we are seeing a wind chill advisory for the northeastern portion of the viewing area. That goes through 11 a.m. Eastern time. That's in effect for White Cass, Miami, Fulton, Pulaski counties until 11 a.m. Now, once we get past that, temperatures will actually begin to take off. We have an area of high pressure just off to the east of us this morning that will eventually shift those winds from the east back down to the south. That's going to help boost temperatures up into the 30s later this afternoon. We're actually looking at all in all a pretty nice day. However, we're expecting plenty of upper level moisture to move in from the Great Plains. And I wouldn't normally zoom out this far, but when you can get a perfect look of what's headed our way just by zooming out on the radar, check this out. We've been talking about the snow all week long, the snow that's going to be affecting us this weekend. We'll have three separate rounds of snow. The first two, thanks to a low pressure system that's going to be rolling across the Great Plains and eventually the Midwest over the next 48 hours or so. So we'll first see the increase in cloud cover followed by snow chances early tomorrow morning and another round of snow late tomorrow night into Sunday morning. The more potent larger system off to the west of us, check this out, all of this rainfall affecting the drought ridden state of California as much as six inches of precipitation falling in parts of California over the next 24 hours. That low pressure system will track across the southern part of the United States, eventually up through the Ohio River Valley and affect us with the snowfall heading our way for Sunday afternoon and into Monday. Here at home as of now though, we are staying clear, we're staying dry, we're staying cool, but temperatures will be warming up as that cloud cover moves in. Scattered clouds expected throughout the viewing area throughout the day today. Our first chance of snow arriving early tomorrow morning. Prior to that, we hit 30 degrees in Lafayette, 35, Crawfordsville, 29 in Logansport later today. We'll drop to around 27 degrees by 10 p.m. Temperatures stay relatively stable throughout the overnight hours. 26, your overnight low temperature with the increasing cloud cover. Now we see the first chance of snow early tomorrow morning. That winter storm watch in effect for the entire viewing area. Actually, not until Saturday night. That's when the heavier snowfall will begin to move in. Our first round of snow early tomorrow morning, likely just about a dusting to maybe as much as an inch. And I'd like to see a little bit more snowfall on our high res future cast for Saturday morning. Now, once we get to Saturday afternoon, the better chances of snow do begin to pop up. This is about 430 for Saturday. You can see though more snowfall just off to the northwest of us by Saturday evening. This is round two. This begins the move in by Sunday morning continues throughout much of Sunday morning into the early afternoon hours before finally kicking off to the east of us. Then round three comes about set Sunday right around 5 p.m. Notice more of that snowfall continues. This one mainly for the southern portion of the viewing area. This will be the heavy hitter dropping the majority of the snow for the southern portion of the region. Once again, I'd like to see that snowfall continue through Sunday night and even into Monday morning. Just right now our high res future cast just a little bit too far out for that. Uh, total snowfall amounts throughout the entire viewing area ranging anywhere from three to five inches for the far northern portion of the viewing area to as much as eight, maybe even nine inches by Monday morning for parts of Fountain Warren and Montgomery counties and Clinton counties as well here in Lafayette, likely right around five to eight inches with Lafayette catching nearly about seven inches of total accumulation before the weekend is up. Now I say eight plus inches of snowfall for the southern portion of the region right now only because we're expecting significant icing in some portions of the region, especially on Saturday afternoon when temperatures are reaching 32 degrees here. We may see temperatures as warm as 35 further off to the south. Sunday we see that big system head through 23 degrees your high temperature that day. Once that passes to the east, temperatures will plummet 15 your afternoon high Monday. Overnight lows at zero and check out those overnight low temperatures. Chris and Alex negative three Tuesday night. We only hit two degrees on Wednesday night and the Thursday morning but finally seeing those temperatures warm back up to around 28 degrees by Thursday of next week. This snow is just going to ruin our weekend. It really <laughs> is, you know, and it, we've seen so much snow. It seems like every single week and we get another round of snow coming through. It's a cyclical thing, so it's going to continue to happen. And 
sadly, I, I, I have to say that some of these longer range models actually have another round of snow had on our way for the following weekend. But as of right now, it's pretty far out at this point. So let's just uh, focus on this one between three to possibly even as much as nine inches of accumulation, icing possible. All in all, a pretty treacherous weekend ahead if you were planning on traveling. The good news is we do finally dry out by the beginning of next week. Bad news is it comes with frigid temperatures once again. All right, Cameron, thank you for that.